Shalom, shalom. First of all, I'm gonna get all in glory to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah by her some Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone rule with being the greatest honor to the younger brothers in the truth and peace and blessing to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, let's edify. <laughs> and as you see on the screen, you know, uh, of a metropolis look like a big city. With a whole, you know, a downtown area, big city, and it's up in smoke. And they say the next economic collapse. Because that's coming to America as a whole, man. This whole economy is going to collapse. And it ain't no shaking back from it, man. You know? But the idea of it is, I don't, I don't know. What I, I guess I'll title it the next ex economic. I don't know. I'll probably title it like what I was going to. No work. Um. Uh, in shortages, you know, something of that nature. But I may title it the next economic collapse because that's what's coming to America, Babylon the Great. And I was um conversating this weekend with um some uh with a Jake that work at a you know, it don't matter who they is, but with a Jake that work at a um distribution center, a Walmart distribution center at that. And this, this not no little small distribution center. No, this <laughs> football fields long distribution center. One of them, you know, that they recently built here in Mobile, you know. And the guy he worked on, he worked, you know, and it was a, a 24-7 process. You know, 24, it was a 24-7 process. Um... And they had three shifts, and you know each they had like two weekend shifts. Then, uh, <clears throat> however it went, you know they had three shifts or four shifts, you can say. They had a day shift and a night shift, and a day shift and a night shift for the weekend, you know. Now it's at the point to where it's. It's so slow, and uh, mind you, this is around holiday season. This is where they sell the most. This is where the most profit coming in uh, in Babylon around this time of the year. So now it's slow. They basically pretty much almost doing away with their night shift and sending the work in the Walmart stores because it's um so slow, you know. But the Lord is, you know, and Jake, like, man, and I done told these Jakes about the truth, you know, the ones who I'm talking about, you know, which they cool and all for for the most part, you know, on surface level, they cool and all, but at the end of the day, Jake ain't going to receive it, <laughs> you know, Jake hollering back, um, there's something going on. It's something going on. You know, I ain't even much say nothing because I already told y'all, you know, what was going to happen in Babylon the Great. It was going to happen in Babylon the Great and to Babylon the Great. And what's finna, how chaos is finna ensue in the earth, man. You know? I ain't say nothing. I just like, yeah, that is crazy. You know, played it off. Shit. I done told y'all multiple times, you know. Jake don't want to hear it, though. So, hey, if a nigga can't get it, <laughs> forget him, man, at the end of the day, you know. That's what we got to do at the end of the day. If Jake can't receive a, a prophecy, the words of Yahweh, but show me how shot first, first and foremost, the acknowledgement that we are the Hebrew Israelites, you know, and repent, fuck them, man, you know. Seek out those that be as this, man, roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> But let's go into a couple of these precepts. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head nor tail branch or rush may do. And that day shall Egypt be unto women, and it shall be afraid and fears and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts which he shake up over it. Yeah, and the Lord getting ready to terrorize <laughs> the earth, man. And and he going to do worse. He going to do the most to 
Babylon the Great, man. The Lord finna bring a, a great judgment on this place, man. My, 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 how bad it's finna get. And people steady sleep, you know, getting rocked back to sleep. You know, thinking this shit gonna shake back, thinking it's gonna go on film. You ain't working and slowing down like that because, hey, Esau getting ready to make a move, man. Esau, and, you know, China, they, they at war. <laughs> All these sanctions and shit, most of the shit that Walmart sell come from China. And China got them folks over there locked down. Esau is crashing this thing uh, uh, right before your eyes, and, and people don't even understand. The people ain't gonna realize until all hell just break loose, and it's gonna be too late, man. You know, but it is what it is. This second is this chapter six and verse. I get straight to the point. Twenty-two, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and America is a sown place, man. <laughs> America had what it. You got what you need when you want it here in America, man. And the full storehouses shall suddenly be empty, and the storehouses a representative of a storehouse is a well, not a distribution center, but a warehouse. But if the distribution center Ain't moving goods to these different warehouses and things of that nature. Hell, the the actual store Walmart it can be be it's it's a warehouse, you know. These supply chain store Winn Dixie's and your Kroger's or Target and those are warehouses, man. You know, it's full of food, full of clothes, full of things of that nature. You know. Um. Uh, these things are going to be unsung. It say, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall suddenly be afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those, with those that dwell therein. And the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Um, it say, and whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. And Lord willing, we are part of that number. You know, we hope we be able to escape these things. So like you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna stop it and come back and finish it up with this chapter, right, this precept right here. Like back in this <clears throat> Ecclesiasticus chapter twelve and verse one, it reads: "Remember now, thy Creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil day come not, nor the year draw near, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light." or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keeper of the house shall tremble, going to your economists and, you know, these top people who watching this house, man, you know, even my Esau's house, <laughs> you know, and the strong men shall buy themselves in the grinding and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, and he shall hear the rise, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And that's the times we are entering into, man. It's going to get real bad, man. Well, the the economy is gonna crash, man, because you're gonna have mass casualties, and the people is what keep the economy going, you know. And when mass casualties come, you're gonna have people. It ain't even when even if they wanted to try to return back to normal, that's why they're calling this the new normal. Esau planned on destroying this whole current setup and and introducing the world to his NWO. That's why he crashing the economy, you know. That's why he's doing what he's doing, because Esau is doing this, man. Esau 
control all these countries, the international bankers. They control Russia, China. They control all these countries, and they telling, you know, giving them the the um they plan, telling them what they need to do and, and how to do it. You know, that's why you know the distribution center, and this is a humongous issue. When I say a huge distribution center, I mean huge. <laughs> I've been inside of it. I was trying to get a job. When I say that's a big building, I ain't never been in a fucking building that big in my life. You know, that's how big that motherfucker was. That that little um center, little place, was huge. And it's you know it's um it, they were working twelve hour sh- shifts. Like the weekend workers, they working three twelves, and then the the throughout the week they were working eight four eights. So it all equal out to about the same. And you know now it, it's so slow to where they you know the day shift making a little bit, but there's nothing left for the night shift. So it's things are slowing down. People didn't quit, <laughs> found new jobs. This is what my intel told me. I sound like a trooper. You know, but it's going to get real, man. And the grinding going to cease because people going to be getting knocked off. People going to be invading one another's houses with the sword because of the lack of bread. All these things are coming, man. Esau is full steam ahead with his NWO. And, and the top goal is to reduce, the, the number one commandment is to reduce the population of 500 million to perfect balance with nature. You know? But that's pretty much the point, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying, quick, straight to the point. I'm going to end to giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, by some Yahweh, Shai, by some Rekakwa, Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, rule with me, the great example to his young brothers and the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful lick. Shalom, Kwame Yashala, Ababa, Shalom.